How you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another day of seven grade math. This is Mr. Gomez, your favorite teacher in the whole world. And today we're gonna be talking about similar scale, uh, shapes and scale drawings and proportionality. Before I show you what we're gonna be doing, please go ahead and consider subscribing, turn the notification bell on if you haven't done so. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel and make sure you turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any future content. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. So similar scale, uh, figures, it says check all, it's only one question. And it says, check all three corresponding sides. It says similar figures, question mark, check all three corresponding sides. All three need to have the same proportion. Draw them in the paper to show you work. So first of all, I gotta find my corresponding sides and I like to do this with the use of tick marks. So for example, I'm going to get the shortest side right here and I'm going to find the shortest side on the other one, which is going to be which one? Which one is my shortest side on the other triangle? 16. So I put in one tick mark and then I'm going to get the middle, the middle length in the big one, which is right here. And I'm going to put in two tick marks to differentiate. If you have different colors, you can do different colors as well. And lastly, we have three tick marks with the longest size. So the way to find proportionality right here, we can do it in three di in different ways. We can do it in different ways. So one way is to do proportions. So for example, we have a big one over a small one. We have one and I'm going to select two of the sides. I'm going to select two of the sides. So in order to do this, I would like to start by using the two smaller numbers on the two triangles. So, for example, I'm going to use tick mark number one and tick mark number two. And I'm going to set up a proportion. So, if I look at the big triangle, rectangle, I mean triangle, with the number one, what number do I have in there? Big one. What number do I have in there? 32, that's what I'm going to put in right there. Now I'm going to look for B2. What number do I have in there? B2. 60, very good. Now, since I label this, what is my S1? 16, very good. And my S2? 40. 40. Now, I can do a few different things right here to see if they are proportional. I can... Uh, I can check the first fraction and see if I can notice a pattern. Is anything happen between 16 and 32? What is happening between 16 and 32? It's very simple. If you multiply this times two, you get 32, right? So if you do something to one side, don't you have to do the same thing for the other one to be proportional? So if you multiply this times two, do you get 60? No. So are these shapes proportional? No, and this is part of your work. Now, in this case, I didn't even have to do the last one, but look what happened. This times two gives me six, uh, divided by two gives me 16, right? This divided by two gives me 44, right? But this divided by two should have given me not 40, but what? 30. So that's why they're not proportional. The other way to find proportionality, and this is going to work all the time. Multiply these two. What do you get? 32 times 40. That is 8, and that is uh, 12. And you put this number right here, 1280. Okay? You cross multiply and put it on, on the bottom of the first one. Then multiply these two and put the number on the bottom. So I have 16 times 60. This is six, carry the three. This is uh, six and three is nine. 960. Are these two numbers the same? They're not the same. Hence, it's not proportional. Any questions about this type of problems? 
Well, I hope that you learned something today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, please watch it again or check the other videos about proportionality on my playlist. Other than that, that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>